Pokemon games, for as amazing as they have consistently been over the years, have ironically always had their fair share of errors within them, especially in the earlier days of the series. Luckily though, they're the kind of mistakes that are more interesting to discuss and look back on than they are an actual problem, and in today's video, we are going to look back at 15 of the craziest errors and mistakes in Pokemon games, so let's check it out. This first one is one that occurred in the most recent titles to this point, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and admittedly, it's a pretty face-palming type of mistake. In the credits of Sword and Shield, once you complete the story for the first time, a computer cursor can be seen quickly gliding across the screen, something that Game Freak obviously didn't notice in time to take out. It really isn't that big of a deal because it's on screen for about half a second, but it is kinda cringy at the same time that something like that was able to make its way into the final product. However, I'm pretty sure at this point that it has been patched out, so at least it was an easy fix. The original Gen 1 games were famously littered with various errors, and one of the more famous ones occurs with Lance's Dragonite. In Pokemon Red and Blue, Lance's Dragonite knows the move Barrier, a move which Dragonite is unable to learn. This was quickly caught on to by fans, and even made into a bit of a running gag, so much so that Game Freak actually released a Dragonite with the move Barrier as an event Pokemon back in 2016. However, this was not the only move-based error that occurred in the earlier Pokemon games. One of those other move-based errors that also occurred in Gen 1 happens with Focus Energy. Focus Energy is a move that is supposed to increase the player's chance of landing a critical hit with the Pokemon that uses it. However, a programming mistake causes the move to decrease their Pokemon's chances of a critical hit in these games instead. This one is fairly detrimental, but I don't think a lot of kids back in the day were using this move anyway since it didn't actually do damage, because we all just wanted to attack our opponents with the strongest move possible, so ultimately this didn't do much damage. Now I hate to pick on Gen 1, but we have got plenty more mistakes from those games to share. I do want to say though that for the record, a lot of these mistakes, glitches, etc. actually made the Gen 1 games a lot more fascinating and interesting than anything else, so it's not all bad. Anyway, there's another programming error in the Gen 1 games that this time allows the player to fish on the statues that can be found at the front of every gym. How this squeaked in there we'll probably never know, but it was probably a fun discovery for those who first found it out back in the day. Let's stop picking on Gen 1 for a little bit though, and this time take a look at something from Generation 3. In the original release of Pokemon Ruby, Mawile's name was actually misspelled as Mawile with an H in its Pokedex entry. Back then, they couldn't simply patch things out the way they do now, so usually these things were fixed by just shipping out a whole new set of cartridges with the error being properly fixed. So this is actually a good way to tell which release version of Pokemon Ruby you may actually have. Another Gen 3 mistake occurs in Pokemon Emerald. On Victory Road, there is a cool trainer named Diane who has a lantern, and this lantern knows the move Earthquake. However, Lantern was not able to learn Earthquake in any way at that time, and still to this day is unable to learn the move. It's interesting to think about if maybe the developers were just having fun and decided to give this Victory Road Lantern an overpowered illegal move, or if it is a genuine mistake. Jumping backwards just a bit to Gen 2, there is a major error that occurs with one of the Pokeballs in these games. The Moon Ball is a Pokeball that was introduced in Gen 2 and was intended to boost the catch rate of Pokemon caught with it who evolve with the use of a Moonstone. However, the true function of the Moon Ball in this generation is that it boosts the catch rate of Pokemon caught with it that evolve with the use of a Burn Heal, an evolution condition that did not exist then and still does not exist now, effectively making the Moon Ball no more effective than a Pokeball, which is a real shame considering how cool the Moon Ball looks. 
Turning back to more recent Pokemon games, a mistake was made during the promotion of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where screenshots of the game were showcased showing Blaziken using Ice Punch, a move that it cannot use in any way, and for that matter, a move that no fire type can learn at all. The screenshots were quickly acknowledged and taken down by the Pokemon Company, but it's curious how this scenario would have even came to occur in the first place. Possibly, it was the developers just testing out various moves, in which case Ice Punch was temporarily given to Blaziken just because, but then these screenshots were somehow used to actually promote the game. Getting back to the older games, we have yet another case of a Pokemon owned by Lance who knows a move that it cannot learn. And you know, between this and the underleveled Dragonites he has, maybe Lance is just a big cheater. Anyway, in the Gen 2 games, Lance owns an Aerodactyl that knows the move Rock Slide, which it cannot learn in any way during those games, and wasn't able to learn until Gen 4, which is a change that could have possibly been made so that Aerodactyl could keep this move in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but this time have it be correct. In the original Pokemon Red and Blue, you are greeted with an error before you can even start playing the game. Once you begin and are greeted by Professor Oak and his famous World of Pokemon speech, a Nidorino is shown on screen as a part of that speech, however when the Nidorino is on screen it lets out a cry that is not its own, but that of a Nidorina instead. which is sadly a pretty good indicator of what to expect in the game that follows, as Red and Blue are notoriously riddled with glitches and errors. Another one of those errors occurs on Cinnabar Island, as there is a scientist in the Pokemon Mansion there that will offer to trade an Electrode for a Raichu, and after the trade is complete, he will say that Raichu evolved after the trade. This is obviously not possible since Raichu does not evolve, and this error was due to the same person trading a Graveler for a Kadabra in the Japanese version of the games who do evolve via trade, and this change was not accounted for in the translation. However, with the revelation that Raichu did actually originally have an evolution named Gorochu, who was cut during development, some believe that there might be more to this story than meets the eye. Practically no Pokemon game is safe from errors, as we also have one to cover from Pokemon Black and White. In those games, several errors are made in the sprites of various Pokemon, such as Slowbro and Weezing for instance, where Slowbro's shelter tail is completely missing an eye, and Weezing's third small segment of its body is sitting above its head as opposed to below it like it's supposed to be. There is yet another notable error that occurred in Pokemon Sword and Shield, or just Pokemon Shield more specifically. During one of the game's periodic promotional raid events, Drillbur that were caught in these raids in Pokemon Shield actually knew the move Hydro Pump, which Drillbur cannot learn. This only occurred in S.H.I.E.L.D. and only happened for part of the first day of this event before it was fixed, meaning that Hydro Pump Drillbur and Excadrill are now an extremely rare specimen, although they cannot be traded or battled online with unless the move is deleted. In other news, it's pretty famously known that Psychic-type Pokemon in Generation 1 were insanely overpowered for a variety of reasons, one of those reasons being that it was immune to one of its weaknesses in Ghost. However, it seems that this was actually an error as well, since there are multiple sources out of the Gen 1 era that claim that Ghost is strong against Psychic, like it is in Gen 2 and onwards. This was definitely game-changing for sure, and not necessarily in a good way, but it did make psychic types such as Mewtwo all the more powerful, which for a legendary like Mewtwo only added to its mystique and appeal. 
And last but not least, we have one more Gen 1 error. In Pokemon Red and Blue, the Celadon City gym leader Erika is seen with a rather unassuming but morbid mistake in her sprite. Her kimono in her red and blue sprite is crossed right over left, which is only supposed to be used on dead people at their funerals, which doesn't really quite work with Erika's character, so her kimono was changed to be left over right in Pokemon Yellow. However, it's possible that this was actually a left over more than an actual mistake, from when Erika was intended to be a ghost-type gym leader, a topic that will be explored soon in a future video. So those were just a few of the crazier mistakes and errors we've seen in Pokemon games over the years. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content all the time. You can also support the channel greatly by listening to my Pokemon remixes on Spotify and by watching my Pokemon Cardinal series here on YouTube, which is really appreciated a lot. With that said, I will see you all very soon with another video, and until then, as always, I will smell you guys later.